Well, time flies by, and it seems like just yesterday we were talking about the May release, and it's already time to roll out the new features now available in Autodesk Fusion for July. We're excited to announce that this release sees updates to further automate your design workflows and the addition of a new toolpath in the manufacturing workspace. Let's not wait any longer and jump right in. We've introduced significant enhancements to the data panel. There's a new show in location feature, allowing you to navigate to a specific directory right from the search results. Convenient hyperlinks have been added to the version dropdown. The full uncropped name now appears in the tooltips, and the data stamp mirrors your computer settings. We've also revamped the Home tab. Most of the previously mentioned updates are present here as well. Plus, we added a new search results location column and the search functionality has been expanded beyond file names to include folder names. We also want to mention in addition to the user preferences that were added a couple of releases ago is the option to skip view transitions. This feature offers some new UI customization and can be very impactful on the performance of Fusion, allowing you to actively bypass animations for smoother and faster transitions when alternating between named views, the view cube, or the browser tree. We've delivered a long-awaited feature in electronics, the ability to color code nets and signals to simplify routing tasks. This can be activated or deactivated using the Shift and A key combo, which reveals the color coding. In the inspector, you'll notice the new appearance parameters. These allow you to define the color for special signals. You can color code at the net class level, the signal level, or you can undo it completely by clicking the reset button. When in override mode and routing traces, they will maintain the chosen color. Every part of the signal, even on the top layer, maintains this color override, making it easy to distinguish nets of interest. This feature promises to simplify the organization of complex boards. Critical signals can now have their own unique colors, making your routing tasks much easier. The Spun Profile Sketch Tool has been designed to simplify your design and manufacturing processes by creating a side profile sketch that represents a body spun around a central axis. This is particularly beneficial for turning, where it can be used to quickly generate a solid body representing the stock, or a sketch that can directly drive toolpaths. Accessing the spun profile tool is straightforward. You can find it inside the sketch under the projection tools. For added flexibility, even if you select an axis that doesn't lie in the current sketch plane, the tool will project the axis onto the current sketch plane. We've added importing and exporting of nested configurations. This allows you to share configured assemblies with configured external components while preserving all configuration data. This feature is designed to enhance your ability to share data outside of team hubs, opening up new avenues for collaboration and data backup. Share designs outside of your organization to suppliers, other teams, or Autodesk support. It's also a great way to maintain an offline backup of your data. Along with the import-export of nested configurations, we're also pleased to announce the new naming options for configured designs in Fusion. Under Preferences, there's a new section where you can adjust this option to display any combination of the following details for all configured components in the browser. This gives you better control over the way your configured designs appear when inserted into assembly. Currently, these features are only available in the design workspace, but we're working to constantly improve this game-changing feature. The option to have components external by default is geared towards improving performance, simplifying collaboration, and making timeline management easier. Fusion will continue to have internal as a default option. However, with this release, we are making a more customizable experience, allowing you to tailor Fusion to the assembly style familiar to you. We're thrilled to announce a couple more fastener improvements in this release. The first enhancement is the insert fastener search. Now, when you search in the Faster dialog, your search results will be initially presented in the most relevant order. The second enhancement is the Flip Fastener feature. This allows you to flip the joint direction when you place a fastener on a point. This makes flipping much more straightforward using the icon found directly in the Fastener dialog. This is one of my favorites in this release, the inclusion of ordinate dimensions and automated drawings. This new feature comes as a follow-up to the hit release of automated drawings and is aimed at providing additional dimensioning recipes. Users can now adjust the origin location to adjust the datum location, and then set the density to ensure all required dimensions are included. It's great to note that this inclusion of ordinate dimensions is one of the top feature requests for automated drawings. If 
you'd like to get involved with providing us with direct feedback, be sure to check out the Insider Community for Fusion and get a whole host of benefits. The Hidden Line Support feature enhances perspective views for greater control over your drawings. Set hidden line views on initial placement, inherent from a parent, or change any time by double clicking on the view. An editable dimension gaps allows you to customize the gap between your dimension and your model in Fusion. This is a document level setting and not for each individual dimension. This ensures your drawings look and feel exactly how you or your suppliers or your customers want them to. A new toolpath called multi-axis finishing is now available and is unique as it can utilize circle segment cutters to machine wall and floor geometries. Barrel, oval, taper, and lens tool geometries are also ported allowing you to capitalize on their ability to use large stepovers to reduce cycle times, but still maintain the high quality surface finish you desire. When machining floors, the toolpath uses a scallop strategy. In the case of machining walls, you have a choice of blend or scallop to meet your needs. Options can be set to automatically tilt the tool during the multi-axis movements, or be user-defined, which allows the user to specify a unique lead angle of the tool and additionally allows you to manually control the minimum and maximum contact points of the tool on the surface. It's now possible to automatically define heights relative to the highest or lowest point of the stock, model, or fixture. This is particularly relevant when defining the clearance and retract heights at which rapid moves take place during machining, but can be useful for other types of heights too. Cam templates can now be marked as favorites in the template library and can be found in the Favorites folder in the library. They are also automatically added to the new Templates section in the ribbon, and operations can be created directly from them without the need to enter the library dialog. Additionally, you can also assign one of seven different color-coded template icons to your preferred templates to insist in sorting and quick selection. Flat pattern bend lines have been visible when creating a nest study, and you can now export those to a DXF. This enables the display of bend lines for sheet metal flat patterns to be carried across NES, DXF import preview, and the exported DXF files. In a DXF, the bend lines are placed on a separate layer in the file. This gives you better visual feedback on how the part is orientated and provides data to external software such as a CNC brake press. Probe geometry already supports simple prismatic features such as planes and circles but the probing cycles in CNC controllers can only support the most common orientations. The new fitting functionality enhances the probe geometry command. The planar and circular fitting functionality uses the probing moves from inspect surface functionality to inspect planes and circles in different orientations. This allows you to probe angle faces, holes, and bosses, which you would not be able to inspect with probing cycles. You can also use asymmetric or unilateral tolerances which you could not be able to achieve with probing cycles and apply a tool orientation to the probe feature. Well that's a wrap for what's new in July for Fusion. Make sure to check out the blog for other additional features. If you're planning to attend IMTS in September, make sure you stop by our booth located in the East Building right after you cross the bridge. Talk with our team of experts, see the latest in manufacturing technology, take part in the daily challenge, and attend the Cam Slam on Wednesday afternoon at 3, where four experts will battle it out for the title of Top Cam Programmer. Until next time, thanks for watching and keep on making anything with Fusion.